Um, my name is Andrea Casey. I'm with Lonex Graphics. I'm the um, sales manager for North America. Thank you to our partners here at Milwaukee for inviting us. We really appreciate the opportunity. And thank you for all of you for being here. We're going to talk to you a little bit about Onyx and who we are. And um, I also have um, Jeff Rito, who's our territory sales manager with us. So in Onyx, we have been um, in business since 1989. We started with the first RIP um, to wide format printers. We are a software-based company. Um, we started um, dividing designing and um, supporting our own RIP software. And we drive the majority of the Milwaukee printers here in the uh, demo center. But, um, and we're based out of uh, Salt Lake City, and we have our own team of engineers that design our product. But one of the things that we're going to talk to you today about is a, um, a new software product that we've introduced called Onyx Lawn. And it's an opportunity for um, your business to um, be part of, um, have part of your wide format to be part of a bigger um, production and, and ecosystem that'll allow you to uh, do some order management as well as invoicing and estimating the jobs. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Jeff and we're gonna start with Onyx Align. Thank you very much, Andrea. All right, so I've got, um, just to kind of get things going, I've got a few questions for all of you. I'm gonna do a, an, an audience poll here. So how many of you work in a shop where um, customers need an estimate or quote before they, they give you the job? So um, what about um, where the situation is where one person is responsible for generating those estimates? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So just before I before I do any other polls, just to, for for those of you in that situation, what's what's the average time of getting a quote to a customer for you? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Okay. Depends on the workload. Depends on the workload. Depends on the scope of the job too, right? You know, what it is that you're actually doing for the customer. In those situations, you know, where a job is, you know, doing a you know a whole floor for an office building or twenty trailers or you know, uh, site signage, where there's a lot of components to it. Um, sometimes that could obviously be very time consuming. And if you're the one person that does it, that could uh, that could be a bottleneck. So let's uh, bear with me here while I, while I lead you to where we're going here. So what about uh, paper job tickets? Anybody using paper job tickets still? Show of hands, just one, two. And then what about accounting, doing a, your accounting in QuickBooks? How many, a uh, few? Okay, good. One of the things, uh, the question that we'd, we'd be asking here is, you know, would, would you like to be faster, get those quotes out easier, and uh, do your jobs in a more profitable fashion? I would say most people would say yes. So Onyx Align is the product that we have that specifically addresses those needs. So, you know, all the questions I was asking and uh, where you want to go, Onyx Align, we feel, is going to be the answer in a lot of cases. Let's, let me tell you about what it is exactly. So it's a web-based order management software designed for large format shops specifically. It was designed by Onyx. Obviously, Onyx, is, as you heard from Andrea, we know a little something about the uh, large format workflow in business. So we've actually been working for the past four and a half years developing this product literally from the ground up. Nobody else's product. We just built it based on our own knowledge uh, of the business, of the, the workflow, the applications. And it handles all things from uh, related to order management and production workflow. It does connect directly to the Onyx RIP as well. And I'll, I'll show you some slides on that. Um, but even if you don't have Onyx as a rep, the point of this software is to address your business challenge of running the shop, getting estimates out, getting the estimates out not only quickly, but in a trustworthy fashion that you know has got everything in it. So let's talk through some of the features specifically in a line. So it's what often happens in the, in the shops is um, creating the estimates and all the tools used for creating the estimates kind of evolve over time, right? That could be price sheets, that could be an Excel spreadsheet, that could be a calculator, that could be everything's in your head, that's one thing. Then you've got, okay, well, how do we 
communicate the status of the order or what the order details are to production. How does production communicate what the status of the order is while they're running the jobs? Getting the details of the job, especially if something has changed to the point where you're doing the, the invoicing. And then in the end, being able to go back and look at what you did, especially when the customer wants to do the same thing six months, a year later, things like that. When you don't have all of these things in one system, managing it, analyzing it over time, all of that becomes very difficult. So what we did is we set out to put all these things in one system to enable you to do just that. So this is what it looks like to, to use the product, just so you kind of get the scope of, of where it is. So managing the products means that the products you sell, banners, A-frame signs, site signage, vehicle wraps, um, you know, um, trinkets, things like that, whatever it is, you would have all of those, all of your costs associated with producing those things built into the system. Once you have all of your costs built in the system, you can create estimates. You can create estimates with the knowledge of all of the costs and all of the steps that you perform so that you know you're protecting your margin. Um, obviously the point of generating an estimate is to get the order. Once it's uh, in order, you can advance it through the shop and workflows that are specific to what it is you're doing. So the site signage workflow would be different from the vehicle wrap workflow, would be different from the you know A-frame sign workflow, whatever it is, wall graphics. And then uh, obviously then you send everything to history and on an ongoing basis, you could add more products, you can adjust your products, whatever it takes. Just not do inventory at this time, no. Now you put all of your costs of your products in there, but as far as tracking as your inventory ticks down, we do not do that in the software. It is on the roadmap though. That is gonna be something that we add. So simplified job tracking. Uh, we have three different ways of seeing uh, what's in the system. Um, interface for your operators to update status and you know a way for management to see what's happening make decisions, you can view things on a calendar. Um, we separate, obviously an order can encompass multiple jobs and multiple steps. So your order could have a separate due date from the individual jobs. You can see all that based on a month view, work week view, whatever it is you want. Then we've got the actual production workflow. And, I, and I'll jump into the software after the slides because obviously the slides are a little bit boring. But the idea being here is that whatever, see how we've got a standard production workflow and a cut vinyl workflow in the top left corner there? So at the moment, I'm showing a standard production workflow relative to um, the jobs I'm looking at. Where things are is the result of operators dragging things into the next step. So once our review, our work review is done, then you move it over to print ready to file complete. It's in the production, so on and so forth. So it's a combination of a communication interface for the operators to show what status you're on, what step you are in the process, but also management can look and see how many things are all at the same step. And you can go into those jobs and you can see the details in all those jobs as to, you know, what that is. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's so it's, uh, it's cloud-based, so as long as you've got an internet connection, the system comes with, and uh, good segue, because I always say the same thing on this slide here, um, you could log, the system comes with five users. The idea of the system is that each user would have different access levels. Obviously, the owner or you know operations manager would see everything. Sales would be limited in what they could see. Production would be limited in what they can see. But as a manager and owner, or anyone really, they could log into their same login as many times in as, on as many devices as they want, both you know remotely and in the shop. So this one here is a work in progress view. So this is just kind of one view that oftentimes, you know, this is a great one in place of the whiteboard to have on a big monitor in the in the shop there so everybody can see what's going on. And that's, you know, like I said, somebody would, you know, they could use their login to put that up on the big monitor and they could log in again on a different device and, and be trading products, you know, advancing through the workflow, whatever it is. All right, so for those that use Onyx Drive, show of hands, anybody have Onyx Drive? So that Onyx Drive is our um, our software rip. Uh, Rasterlink obviously is great for a uh, Mamaki only shop. Um, when you're, when a Mamaki is just another printer in the stable and you've got other, um, other types of printers and a, and a high production workflow. Drive is a great rip for that. The point of it being, um, just want you to see that from a product feature standpoint, that we do integrate with our rip uh, in a little bit more of a uh, you know comprehensive way. So one of the things that we can do is when when Thrive is set up to drive you know your two Mamakis and whatever other printer or three Mamakis, whatever it is, um, you have all of the detail of your modes 
your quick sets, you know, your, your, your banner workflow, whatever it is, you have all that detail in your rip. When you're building jobs and you're, you're, you're creating your products so that you can quote on them, you wanna do that with the knowledge of, you know, the things that you can actually print, right? So you could pull that data from your rip, build your jobs, and then once you've got that, you've got the ability to actually submit jobs right into the rip. So this is a real quick video just to show you the concept. So if I've got a print ready file, we're just gonna skip ahead to the print ready file stage. Um, this is a video showing what it looks like to upload a file into an order. So the order is all ready for a specific product. So we know really how this job needs to be run. We have the job in a line. We could submit it to the RIP. We can pick what these um, specific settings for the, the RIP are and we could submit the file. We'll actually go into the RIP queue We'll see the job pop in with all of the um, order data in it. Forgive the uh, other printers mentioned there. Um, once it's done ripping, it'll send that rip data back into Onyx Align. So once Onyx Align has that, you've got confirmation that the job is ripped and just ready to print. And the job was ripped with all the settings based on the order that you just quoted on. It's, it's ready to go. This was a very vanilla example, but if it was, if my quick set was, rotating the file 90 degrees to go on a banner, adding bleed, putting in grommet marks, all those things, you could you would see that at the stage knowing that it's it's truly ready to print. All right, so quick and reliable estimates. Let's go back to the, you know, really where I started this conversation and it's really what the, the main reason for the software is, is what we find a daily business challenge with a lot of our customers is I could either do a quick estimate and I might be missing something Right? Or I can spend the time and I can get all the details in there. And if I've got five other things in front of that before I do that, not only do I have the delay in getting to the estimate to begin with, but then I've got the you know, detail and the time to actually put everything in there, make sure I'm not missing anything on this really big job. I wanna make sure I make money, right? So we don't want you to have to make that decision. We want you to be able to do quick and reliable estimates, okay? So this is another quick little video. This is just quoting on a banner. Uh, we all know a banner sounds like a really simple thing, right? But you've got an awful lot of things that go into a banner, a lot of variables. So this is an example of quoting on a banner job. So I'm gonna start a new estimate, pick the customer that I'm making the um, estimate for, pick the product, and this would be your products. You'd, you'd populate the system with, with your customers, of course, your products. Um, this customer needs five banners, so I'm just gonna change the quantity. You'll see the price update in the top right corner there. Then I'll go into the detail of my banner. I've got an awful lot of things in my banner here. My default is a six foot by three foot banner. I'll make it an eight foot by three foot. So I'll go ahead and update that. Again, you'll see the price change. And then I'm ready to quote the customer. So I just click issue estimate. The estimate comes up on screen. It'll be a PDF or you know, if they're actually in your building, you could print it out. Um, then you can email it to them or uh, send them away with the estimate. But at that point, you saw me just create an estimate for five banners, slightly different size from my normal standard. And I had that done in whatever that was, three or four clicks, right? So real simple. I know that it's got everything in there for the way I do a, a banner with, you know, whether I'm welding or stitching or, you know, how many grommets I put every how many feet, all that got calculated automatically based on changing the size and the quantity very quickly. All right, so in-depth cost estimation. So um, that first one where I just showed you where you can create an estimate and we want anybody to be able to create an estimate in your shop really quickly, that's, you know, for anything that's normal or standard, right? So sometimes you'll generate an estimate for a customer and they'll, they'll be like, well, that's, you know, that's price is too high. You know, what can you do? Things like that. For somebody that's got the appropriate login level, a owner, operations manager, or whatever, you can go in there and see where is your price coming from exactly? What, what are all the components that are going into your price? How much of that is margin? How much of that is labor time? Um, you could possibly make a decision based on some other things you have in the shop that you could do that a little more efficiently, whatever it is. But if you need to meet a price, what you're gonna know while you would make the adjustments and interact here, you'll know whether or not you still have margin in the job. And that's really what we're all doing this for, right? Is to make money on the job. So being able to go in there and make sure that as you make adjustments that you're still good, that's fundamental to the software. So that's the, 
the in-depth cost mm -hmm. estimation. So something we just launched. So for those of you that have QuickBooks, when we came out with this product, we'd hear over and over again, do you connect to QuickBooks? Fortunately, the answer is no, mm -hmm. uh, but you can export a report and you can reconcile your QuickBooks and all that. That's a pretty typical answer for that sort of thing. Well, we realized that that really was not gonna be good enough. We've got too many customers out there that use QuickBooks and being able to um, integrate, not just connect to it, but integrate with QuickBooks. You're gonna have all your customers in there already, right? You don't wanna sit there and rekey all your customers into a new system. You just connect up, they all pull in, okay? You wanna generate an estimate and be able to see that later in QuickBooks. You generate an estimate in a line, that goes into QuickBooks. You wanna be able to take payment, of course. You're not gonna take payment in a line, you're gonna take payment in QuickBooks in your accounting software. And when you do that, then that gets populated into a line. Online, yeah, not not desktop. It's got to be the subscription model. Um, I don't know of a reason why it wouldn't. It should. Yeah, it's the subscription model. You're doing it online. Yeah, yeah, it would. But yeah, there's cause it's really just a different level, right? Because there's different multiple levels you can get in at QuickBooks. It's going to affect the price, and you're on the on the higher end, right? Yep. Okay, so this is just another. This is a real quick uh, video. Is this going to play? All right. So this is an example of um, issuing an invoice. The job's done hit print, that'll come up. You'll see the details of the invoice there. And by the way, in a line, both the estimates that you're issuing, you saw an example of the estimate that I did, and this is an invoice. The level of detail that goes in there, you customize, because you don't want to necessarily show all the ingredients that are in the cake, right? It, it depends on, on what it is you want your customer to see. You control that level of detail. So this is showing that once it's been invoiced, that you could see that in QuickBooks. You could see all the detail populated in the QuickBooks automatically. There is no double entry whatsoever. And you could take payment and then a line will know about the payment. So that's uh, that's what we get out of that QuickBooks integration there. So this is just, uh, just a recap. The point of the software, it's uh, all in one system. It's specifically designed for large format. You've got in-depth cost estimation. You can quickly get, you get more quotes out per day because you could do so quickly. And you know that when you get those quotes out that you can trust them and you, you can be uh, not only accurate, but then at that point, the uh, like I said, the main reason for doing all of this is for that to be profitable. Any questions on QuickBooks or anything in particular you'd like to see in the software? Well, I just wanna take you in there just to just you know go into the software live here a little bit down the left side. All right, so just to orient you a little bit here, we, you saw us go through a lot of these things. You know, you've got an account list. What just came up on screen here is we do have the ability to make this available as a guided tour. So if you wanna kind of test drive the workflow within a line of generating estimates and you know going through all the steps, that's something that you could do. Um, I'll just play along for just a second there, but that's, uh, that's kind of how this works. It takes you through what it is that you'd want to do in order to simulate the whole process. Um, a lot of what you saw me do. Um, so I'm going to step out of the guided tour here, but just wanted to know that that wanted you to know that that's something available. A lot of people say that sounds great. How do I demo it? Well, with a system like that, obviously a lot of training is required. So we wouldn't be able to tr completely train you on the system just for you to get a demo of it. So what we did was this guided tour approach so that you can at least go in there. So you can, um, you know, at least get enough out of that demo to to see. So you kind of saw the highlights of the system working. Just want to show you. There's, you know, configuration. So when you go in and you set up a, a system, obviously you're going to do things like add your logos. You're going to have role groups. So you can control who can see what within the system. Really important in a system like this. You certainly wouldn't want all of your, 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 um, Pricing going to your operators, you wouldn't want your margin going to your salesperson necessarily, you know, things like that. So you can control all that by going into the different areas of the software and setting up what each, you know, each uh, type of person or specific person um, can do and can see. Obviously, things like, you know, tax settings are really important, um, getting all of your substrates and, you know, the specific costs involved. And any and everything. So all of that goes in here all for the sole purpose of making sure that that's already baked into your estimate. And when you build your products, you're, it really actually, when you're in the product building stage, 
it forces you to think through truly what are all the steps that you're doing when you, you know, manufacture that product, right? And it forces you in a deep dive mode. And when you're putting all those things into the system there, then you know that you're, you're really capturing anything that could influence the amount of money that it costs you. So I wanted you to see all that. That's really, really about it. Um, like I said, if you don't have QuickBooks, uh, you, you do have some import tools. So if you've got some CSV files that have your customer list and things like that, you can import that. So we've got some import tools as well. So a lot of things to help you get started. The way our system, the way we deliver the system is that, you know, a system like this really is not any good unless you can get up and running on it, right? You gotta, you gotta start by getting all of your data in there. You gotta train people how to use it because it really would fundamentally impact your day-to-day -day operations of your business. So training and understanding how it all works really matters. So when I say that we've spent the last four and a half years um, developing the product, starting over a couple times, things like that, we've also been refining our delivery mechanism. We've, we've been kind of figuring out what works and what doesn't. What's the fastest way to get a customer up and running? So the way we do that is we deliver the training in four three-hour sessions. So, and we get a syllabus ahead of time. You see exactly what's gonna be in each session so you could plan accordingly. We record each session and give it to you at the end of it so that you can go back and, and review that later or, or show others. That can be done because it's four three-hour sessions, that could be done in as little as two days to be up and running. Nobody has taken us up on that offer yet, mm -hmm. but that is feasible. Uh, more likely you're looking at, you know, somewhere between two and four weeks, you know, managing your schedule and what it is that you want to accomplish. We'll kind of send you off with homework at the end of each one of those sessions so you can go and really gather all of your costs enter everything the right way. Um, we hold your hand through the process and then uh, obviously this is more self set up and then we come back around at the end of it and help you check it out. Make sure it's ready for prime time, ready to deliver and, and, and start using on a daily basis. So that's Onyx Align. I appreciate your time. Uh, I, I stepped on my presentation so my thank you slide doesn't come up automatically. But um, let me know if you have any other questions. My cards are right up here. So if you are interested in learning more about a line, if you feel like that might be something that your business could benefit from, please do reach out to us or I'll be here for um, most of the rest of the day. So feel free, feel free to come by and say, put that out of your reach there. There you go. Thank you. Um, feel free to come by and ask any questions. I'm happy to you know, show you more on the product. Thank you everybody for your time. Appreciate Thank it. You very much.